We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers. It'll be a great guide for your daily prayer time. For your free copy, call us toll free at 1-855-855-MASS. That's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click below to subscribe to our channel. The Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please do your part to help keep Mass on TV and online. If you receive our monthly bulletin, you may use the enclosed reply envelope to send in your regular offering. Thank you and may God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us pause and ask for forgiveness for our sins. God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. 
Grant your faithful, we pray, almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. This is what Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In the days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it. Many peoples will come and say, come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations and impose terms on many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come. Let us walk in the light of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks. When I heard them say, let us go to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to the house of the Lord. reading from the letter of St. Paul as written to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you know the time. It is the hour now for you to awake from sleep. For our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is advanced and the day is at hand. Let us then Throw off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us conduct ourselves properly as in the day, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in promiscuity and lust, not 
in rivalry and jealousy. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Make no provisions for the desires of the flesh. The word of the Lord. Thanks. The Lord be with you. Proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. In those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark. They did not know until the flood came and carried them all away. So will it be also at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be out in the field. One will be taken and one will be left. Two women will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken and one will be left. Therefore, stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this, if the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared, for in an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. It's hard to believe, but today we begin the sacred time of Advent again. That time when we prepare for the birth of the Lord in a very special way. I remember as a child, not that long ago, thinking that this time didn't come fast enough. And now it seems as if every time you turn around, here it is again. In the first reading from Isaiah, we hear how the people view the Lord. He will judge the nations, and there will no longer be a need for war. We can also hope and pray for this now in the present. We pray and hope that there is no more war. In the gospel, we hear how Jesus tells us that no one knows the hour, but that we should always be in the midst of preparation. How prepared are you? During these next few weeks, each one is given the opportunity to think about how she or he needs to prepare. Don't let this time slip past you. Prepare yourself for the coming of the Lord, for no one knows the day nor the hour. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. 
From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our good and gracious God hears our prayers. We now lift up those prayers to him. For our church, that we may go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor and hungry who are often neglected during this time between Thanksgiving and Christmas, that they may be cared for and provided for throughout the year. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that each of us may take the opportunity over the next four weeks to prepare our hearts, our hearts to receive the Lord with the wonder and joy of a child at Christmas. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially among our viewers and listeners, may they experience healing and relief from pain. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us, may they inherit the crown of righteousness that awaits them in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember the needs and prayers of all of our Heart of the Nation parish members, especially those in the Washington, D.C. viewing area. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, as we come before you once again, we ask you to hear these prayers that we have voiced and those prayers deep within our hearts. And we ask you, Lord, to grant them in your good time through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that these our gifts may be acceptable to our loving God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of God, for our good and the cause of the Holy Church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. 
and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, and all who serve and minister in your name. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and worry, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace, especially those in our viewing area. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks. Thanks to God.
We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers. It'll be a great guide for your daily prayer time. For your free copy, call us toll free at 1-855-855-MASS. That's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click below to subscribe to our channel. The Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please do your part to help keep Mass on TV and online. If you receive our monthly bulletin, you may use the enclosed reply envelope to send in your regular offering. Thank you, and may God bless you.